Welcome back to High School Sports on Eastlink Community TV. I'm Matt Beardsley. Glad you could join us tonight for the 2022 PEI School Athletic Association Senior AAA Girls and Boys Provincial Gold Medal Basketball Games. If you're just joining us, we're just moments away from the start of the girls gold medal game between Three Oaks and Charlottetown Rural. The boys bronze medal game between West Isle and Colonel Gray went into overtime, so that put us about 25 minutes behind schedule, but two and a half minutes left in the warm-up before we start this game. So let's just look at how these two teams fared this season. Charlottetown Rural was 6-0. They finished first for 12 points. These two teams played twice during the regular season. On February 21st, Charlottetown Rural won 76-28, and on March 21st, Rural won 87 to 30. Colonel uh, Three Oaks was three and three for second place in the regular season with six points. And they are looking for their first title since 2012. Charlottetown Rural looking for their seventh straight provincial title. And over that stretch, they have not lost a regular season or postseason game. So. Way to stretch here by the Charlottetown Rural Raiders, and they're uh, graduating six or seven players this year. So uh, for all the grade 12s here tonight, it'll be the last time that they will uh, suit up for their high school. It's so always a special moment. Time now for the introduction of the starting lineups. Let's go courtside to public address announcer Paul M. Skierman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Holland College for the EDI School Athletic So, lineups introduced. Just about set here for the opening tip between the Axe women and the Raiders as uh, we conclude our coverage of high school sports for the winter season. And a reminder, following this game, we'll have the boys' AAA gold medal basketball game between, also between Three Oaks and Charlottetown Rural. And that should be a good one. Three Oaks defeating Rural twice, but both, both games were inside five points halfway through the fourth quarter. So. Our second half for doubleheader should be a good one. Rural controls the tip. McCabe inside for McDonald. Bedito. 
Lawler takes a look, penetrates, gets possession, and scoops it in. Hallmark of the Charlottetown Rural Teams. Tight defense, fast break, and get it, getting off the great starts. So, see if Three Oaks can stay in this one. Nice drive there off the window by Regan Betts. Loose ball, grabbed by Lawler, and there's the fast break. Isabel McGagan. Nice work there by Paige McLean to block that from behind. Our thanks to the staff here at Holland College for their assistance as Katie Venito fires her first three of the game. I think she had seven in our last broadcast, so. McGagan penetrating, little half hook, fighting for the rebound, and I think she's gonna commit the foul over the back. Or a jump ball, I guess, so possession arrow to Three Oaks. Kerwin on the drive, leans in, a little bit out of control. Lawler has it now, she'll push the pace. Nice bounce pass for Venito, and she lays it up and off the window with a nice soft touch. And the Raiders off to a four nothing lead. Richard will fire the three. McGagan trying to knock that ahead to herself. Little pump fake, she'll pull back. Likes to dribble behind her back in traffic. We'll see if we see that move tonight. Benito, Abby McDonald, new top. Flashing Lawler. She can't handle the pass, and she gets tied up with McLean. And the foul is on Sydney Lawler, her first. Rural is a deep team. They'll go five deep, so. Kerwin. Trying to get inside into the key. And Benito, who's close to six feet tall, long arms, got a hand on that. Little hesitation, little floater. And Katie Benito can put the ball on the floor and go to the rim as well, besides shooting the long range three. McLean guarded tightly by McGagan, trying to back her down, little half hook. Pretty soft rims here watching the two bronze medal games earlier this afternoon, but that one bounces off in her first substitution of the game as Drew Gillis will check in for Three Oaks. Lawler looking to get a step and traveled as she tried to get it inside there, lost her pivot foot. Six nothing your score. Two and a half minutes into the 2022 Senior Triple A Girls High School Provincial Gold Medal Basketball Game. Glad you could join us tonight live on Eastlink Community TV. Gillis picked up the pivot foot under pressure there by Lawler, so a turnover and the Raiders ball. Quick pass inside, and Lawler is fouled by Gillis. She also is deceivingly tall. Probably goes 5'8 or 5'9. And a long arm, she likes to post up, get inside. Second one to go. So seven nothing your score. McLean trying to get it inside. Nice pass. And Leah Johnson with a nice convert at the rim for her first basket of the game. McDonald. McCabe inside, gets her own rebound. McGagan with the fake, there's that through the legs. Step around and you can hear that slap from here. And she will go to the line 
to shoot two. Three on foul, number seven, three get bets. Her first, the team second. Misses both. Plain trying to get it ahead. Good court awareness there by Vedito. She'll streak back. And that floater a little short. Betts has it stolen by McGagan. She's in all alone. McLean is giving chase, but and we have our first timeout. As the coaches of Three Oaks, Shannon Noonan, and Ted Johnson, and Chelsea Mullins want to talk things over as the Raiders out to a 9-2 lead here in the opening quarter. And just a reminder that tonight, uh, immediately following the girls' game, we'll have the second half of our gold medal doubleheader. It's the boys as Charlottetown Rural and Three Oaks will take to the floor. Three Oaks looking for their, I believe it's their fourth straight provincial championship. They have unquestionably been the uh, the power in high school boys basketball here in the last few years. But, as I mentioned, Charlottetown Rural has played them very tough this season. So we'll see what Rural can do tonight. Underway, Richard as that get tipped away by Vedito. Kerwin has it tipped away. Good hustle by McLean, and that's a jump ball. And the position error, which you can see across the court at the scores table, favors Charlottetown Rural. Atlanta maybe checked into the game at that last stoppage, having a nice rookie. She was a rookie or second year, but having a nice season here. The games we've seen her play, loose ball. McCabe hustling hard. And that time the arrow is in favor of Tosh. You can see Faro Halupa in the background there, and the Three Oaks boys team starting to trickle in. Kerwin trying to get baseline on Oles Camp. As Three Oaks swings at Paige McLean. She can knock down the three, and that's her first of the game to make the score 9-5. Maybe trying to get inside. And she's fouled, I think, by Richard. Yes, so that is Richard's first. Richard very active on defense, and there once maybe beat her guard. Richard had to slide over and cover. Maybe outside, Benito. She had a couple of really deep threes last week in the semifinal game, so you have to get out on her. Camp, nice drive with the left hand. And Zoe Allscamp is on the board. She had a nice game last week, too. And that semifinal win, I believe, over Bluefield. So halfway through the opening quarter. Camp kicks it out. Vedito with a deep three, knocks it down. Katie Vedito. From well, well 
behind the arc, and the lead is 14-5. Gillis inside, good D by Vidito. Kerwin up and under, Vidito not biting, but Kerwin gets it to go. Nice low post moves there from Avery Kerwin. Lawler right back, juking and jiving, fighting for her rebound. Loose ball still there, and she gets it. Olskamp, the long jumper. And finally, the Axe women will secure it as Drew Gillis will hand it off to Paige McLean. Not a bad start here for Three Oaks. You're inside 10 points. I think if you could keep that all game, you'd be pretty happy. That three, a little short. And Kerwin going for the ball. I think she might have been fouled by Benito. And one thing to keep in mind, these teams have not played here this season. The last time some of them played here was two years ago uh, on March the 12th, a Thursday, the night the world turned upside down in 2020. That was uh, the last time the provincial championships were here at Holland College, and what a memorable week that was. And here we are two years later still trying to extricate ourselves from the pandemic. Nice pass inside, and Cassidy Hurley makes a hard foul, but gets up with a big smile, and she'll go to the line for two shots. Three Oaks foul number four, Avery Kerwin, her first, that will be the team's fourth. So Hurley with two shots. One of the few left-handed shooters in high school girls basketball have not, now we did not see all the senior AAA teams this year, but uh, I'm not sure what percentage it is of the population is left-handed, I don't know, five, 10, uh, have to look that up at the break there, find out, but nice stroke there from the line by Hurley. Kerwin guarded by Sinnott. Betts trying to get baseline, the long wingspan of Lawler, cut that off, maybe comes in to help out. Kerwin somehow gets to the glass, but did not have the angle. It's a tough rebound there by Curley, out in a fast break. And kind of lost the handle there with some backside pressure. Head of the ball game to three Oaks, number 11, Paige McLean. Paige McLean will check back in. 16-7 year score, three minutes left in the open quarter here. The gold medal game between Three Oaks and Charlottetown Rural. Glad you could join us tonight live on Eastland Community TV for high school sports. Plain will just fire that, had to alter the shot a little bit. Maybe as the Raiders look to run here. Lawler steps into that three, short maybe. She got a half a dozen rebounds last week and probably is the shortest player on the floor, Lawler straight to the rim. Tough drive, and she will shoot too. That's uh, five team fouls. It was a shooting foul anyways for Lawler. She knocks down the first, but any remaining fouls here in the opening quarter will send Charlottetown Rural to the free throw line. There's those soft rims spoke about. Kerwin back, cut off. Little mid-range jumper there. Nice job by Leah Johnston to get that up and over the taller Zoe Olskamp and the score 18-9 Raiders. Olskamp trying to get it to Sinnott inside. She's trying to get to the glass off the window. And nice post move there by Ava Sinnott. Kerwin showing off the handle, trying to get inside, kicks it into the corner. And unfortunately for Three Oaks, Reagan Betts was standing on the out of bounds line, which is the red line. So more substitutions here for the Raiders. Back in now for rural number nine. Katie 
also number eight, Isabel McKeown. Sinna takes a look. McDonald flashes to the top of the key. She kicks it out. Hurley, that three off the mark. McGagan settles it down. Trying to get inside, gets tangled up with the Three Oaks defender and turns it over. McLean trying to get inside. She's fouled and will shoot two. Nice take there by Paige McLean. Grab the rebound. Nice pass inside. Good job by Hurley, but that's blocked by Betts. Twelve on the shot clock. Inside ten. Gagan trying to get it into McDonald. She gets it to Sinnott, fires that. So Three Oaks trying to run here. That's up top. Three on the way. That was off the mark and will be Raiders ball as we are in the final minute of quarter number one. Donald up top. Hurley around that screen. Little floater off the window. Nice job there by Cassidy Hurley to go off the glass. That's four for her. And the lead is 13. Plain trying to get inside. Throws it up against the taller McDonald, had to alter her shot. Time winding down here in quarter number one. So at the end of 10 minutes of play, Charlottetown Rural leads Three Oaks 22 to nine. We'll step aside and be back in just a moment. Stay with us. You're watching High School Sports on Eastlink Community TV. Bonjour, ici Julie Gagnon, l'animatrice de l'émission French Connection à Eastlink Community TV. Il me fait plaisir de vous inviter à chaque jeudi soir de 19h30 à écouter nos invités francophones ou francophiles de la communauté de l'île du Prince-Édouard. Elle voit, elle voit la, la valeur dans, dans le français, dans la communauté, um, dans la vie. Alors c'est un rendez-vous chaque jeudi soir 19h30, seulement pour les abonnés de Eastlink Community TV. What's that, Nan? Oh, that's the Queen Elizabeth Hospital Foundation donor wall, darling. Would you like to go see it? What does it do, Nan? Well, it helps people who are sick get the care they need. The equipment the doctors and nurses need to help make them better costs lots of money. Many donors make sure the hospital has what they need. Nan, one day my name's gonna be up here, too. Oh. Wouldn't it be special to have you and I up in the donor wall? Wouldn't that be wonderful?
Welcome back to High School Sports on Eastland Community TV as we get you set for the second quarter between Three Oaks and Charlottetown Rural in the 2022 Senior AAA Girls High School Provincial Gold Medal Basketball game. Charlottetown Rural leading 22 to nine after the first quarter. Three on the way, that's off the mark. Johnston again had that shot altered by Vedito and good work there by Richard. That ball is still alive. And McCabe gets tied up there with Leah Johnston. And it's Three Oaks ball on the arrow. McLean will just shoot the three. Off the mark. Sinnott, McCabe, little foul line jumper and it goes. You can see that indecision. She uh, got the bounce. McLean, the catch and shoot. Oh, down and out. Sinnott will try and get that to a teammate. Good D there by Three Oaks. That shot off the mark. And we'll stay Axe women ball. <laughs> 24 to nine the score. Shard trying to go baseline off the window, no good, and that'll be Raiders ball. So maybe checks back in. Gabe for Vedito. Step back deep, three. Sinnott with the rebound. And a new 24 for the Raiders, maybe on the drive. Good anticipation there by Johnston. And McCabe will fire the three. And Richard, nice job to track down that rebound. Betts kicks it out, Richard, little pump fake. Oh, and Sinek closes the distance and blocks that. And nice rebound there by Richard as Vedito got by her. Two and a half minutes into quarter number two. Raiders on top, 24-9. Vedito is out ahead of everybody, but McLean steals that. And commits the travel. Back into the wall game now for Burrow. Number six, Abby McDonald. Number eight, Isabel. And Keegan. Lawler back into the game, kicks it out. Sinnott, that three is short. McGagan with the rebound. Lawler stepping into the key up and under. And nice job there by Kerwin. And they're calling the foul on Kerwin, much to the uh, chagrin of the Three Oaks fans in attendance. Gagan, little pump fake, step back jumper, hit the ground hard, but missed. 
Six and a half minutes left here in the opening half. Rural on top, 24 to nine, and McGagan with that steal. And misses the layup, and may be able to avoid the falling Richard. McDonald inside, and that's her first two of the game. Lane guarded tightly, shot clock winding down. Richard has to heave a three, and that's good. Sinnott on the drive. They let that go, and she goes off the window, and that's four for her. And the lead is 28-12, with five minutes and change left here in the opening half. McGagan almost put herself offside there. There's that behind the back dribble. Irwin does a nice job tied up, but the arrow is favoring Charlottetown Rural. Timeout called on the floor. So your score, 28-12, Charlottetown Rural on top over Three Oaks in the 2022 Senior AAA Girls High School Provincial Gold Medal Basketball game on Eastlink Community TV as we conclude our coverage of uh, high school basketball on Eastlink Community TV for 2021-22. Timeout just about over. As Cotton Eye Joe gets played for the one millionth time at a sporting event. So it's Raiders ball here, five minutes and 10 seconds left in the opening half. Shard knocks that away, shot clock inside 10. Lawler, nice dish there, someone tipped it. And she fights for it, but that is a 30, pardon me, 24 second shot clock violation. Donovan checks in for the first time. Number nine, Ella Donovan. Still three oaks ball here. Sullivan trying to get it inside. Picked off by Lawler. And Olskamp dribbles it off her foot, so it'll be three Oaks ball. Twenty-eight twelve your score. McLean will fire the three. That's short. Good hustle there by Gillis. But we'll stay three oaks, or pardon me, Charlottetown rural ball. Oh. 
McGagan, nice drive, can't finish. So 14 on the shot clock. Maybe. Turns the corner, Lawler, little fake. Trying to get it into the corner for McGagan and that's tipped away. That's nice steal there by McGagan. And that's four for her, and the lead is 30 to 12. That's a little too fast there. The feet and the hands not matching the brain. Into the ball game with three oats. Number 13, Sydney. Lawler, little dish inside for McDonald. And that's four for Abby McDonald. Abby McDonald. Three minutes left here in the opening quarter. Pardon me, the opening half. That steps out of bounds. And that will be Raiders ball. Dollar change of direction, trying to lean in. Kicks it back out, McCabe. She's fouled and gets it to go. with the chance for the three-point play. And knocks it down. Donovan trying to get it into the corner. Johnston posting up. Good D there by McCabe. Raiders want to run. McGagan lost the Handle on the crossover. Good hustle there by Vedito, but it'll end up in Three Oaks' hands. Gillis fouled and will shoot two. Gillis makes the second. 35-13 the score. Two minutes left here in the opening half. Lawler into the key. Some contact, no foul. Bodies everywhere. Clean. Baseline. Good hands there by McGagan. And McCabe reaches in and ties up Kerwin. So still three Oaks ball. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Off 
the window for Avery Kerwin, and that's four for her. Lawler trying to slice through the key, gets fouled, and will shoot two. Lawler makes both, and the lead is 37-15. With a minute, 20 some odd seconds. Shot off the mark. Gagan will take a look. Little fake, lean in off the window. Nice move there for Isabel McGagan, and that's six points. As we're in the final minute of the opening half here between Three Oaks and Charlottetown Rural. Shot clock winding down. Gillis has that blocked by Lawler. Again. Cabe. She gets it back. And that's a three as Isabel McGagan knocks that down. And that's nine points in the first half, and the lead is 42 15. Foul there is Kerwin. Went to the rim and McGagan's second foul. So two shots here for Kerwin. there and Hall's camp is like what me Time winding down, Olskamp to the window for her second basket. And time will expire with Charlottetown Rural leading at the half, 44-16. We'll step aside and be back in about 10 minutes with the third quarter. Stay with us. You're watching the 2020 Senior AAA Girls High School Provincial Gold Medal Basketball Game live on Eastlink Community TV. Celebrate. Four for Three Oaks. Avery Kerwin, five. Drew Gillis, one. Alyssa Richard, three. Paige McLean, three. And Leah Johnston, four for a total of 16. And just a reminder that after the girls' gold medal game, We'll have the boys' gold medal game between Three Oaks and Charlottetown Rural. Should be an entertaining game. You can see the crowd starting to file in for that one. But first, 20 more minutes for Three Oaks and Charlottetown Rural. As I mentioned, Charlottetown Rural looking for their seventh straight provincial title. 
they have not lost a game over that stretch in league play and postseason play. So quite an accomplishment for the Raiders. Lawler secures it, kicks it into the corner. That's a three off the mark, long rebound. Kerwin races away, takes a little shoulder bump, and McGagan leans in with the long arm to knock that away. Raiders back in that pass. Too far for Isabel McGagan. Nice move there, up and under. And Kerwin got herself too far under the basket. And good hustle by Paige McLean to come back and pick that pass off. Oh, nice pass there. Betts able to keep it alive. She'll shoot the jumper. Off the mark. And good job by Kerwin to get the rebound with double dribbled, so it'll be Raiders ball. Benito will just step into that long three. Very efficient score. That's 10 for her on limited shots, two threes. Long three by Richard. Racing to get the rebound, banged into Lawler and McCabe. All sorts of debris here on the floor. Johnson got tangled up with Richard, and there's a foul in there somewhere. It's on Rich, uh, Leah Johnston, her second. Cabe, Lawler. Inside, left hand, a little strong, gets her own rebound. As it's stripped, kicks it out. McGagan settles herself. Shot clock at 10. McCabe into three players off the window. Oh, a tough take there for Mena McCabe. Raiders ball here on the possession arrow. Oh, pardon me, Three Oaks ball. Kerwin. McLean trying to get that through, and good hustle there by Benito. McGagan, long jumper. Off the mark. Another turnover. McGagan in the open floor, bounce pass. Vidito trying to get it across for Lawler. And McLean intercepts that. Kerwin inside, jumper from Johnston. A nice rebound by Vidito. She'll just let everybody head up court. So we are three and a half minutes into quarter number three, Charlottetown Rural on top, 49 to 16. In the girls' gold medal game. 
McCabe with another rebound. Has it stripped? Nice work there by McLean. That jumper off the mark. And Lawler loses it, but it will stay Charlottetown rural ball. So substitutions for both teams. I'm trying to get my mic cord behind me here. That's that little zip you hear. <laughs> I'm gonna get it fixed here during the set break. Off the top of the window, foul there. As McCabe will shoot two. Gillis, Johnston taking a look, trying to back her defender down. Maddie Dyer inside. And nice cut there by Drew Gillis to go off the window. Drew Gillis. Olskamp kicks it out. And Benito lines up another three, a little short. Lane front rim, that's out of bounds and will be Raiders ball. Basket there. McLean inside. Donovan gets bumped, no foul. And then lots of contact there between McCabe and Gillis. And they're going to play on. So it's still Three Oaks ball with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Three Oaks will have to get something off here. McLean trying to step back. That's off the mark. And will be Raiders ball. Cabe kicks it out. Maybe a little fake inside. And once again, gets the rebound. Nice work there. The Raiders reverse it. McCabe inside, gets her own rebound. Can't get it to go, and that'll be Three Oaks ball. substitutions on both sides. The score 52-18 Charlottetown Rural on top. Maybe nice pass there for Hurley up top. Lawler driving kicks it out. Maybe with the jumper off the mark. And Stephanie Stewart with her first rebound of the game. Oh, 
And that's a three for Maddie Dyer. Oh, maybe I have the uniform name wrong there. Maddie McPherson, my apologies. And nice basket there by Ava Sinnott as we're in the final three minutes of quarter three. Richard trying to back her defender down. Shot clock inside 10. And that pass to nobody in particular and Sydney Lawler is off to the races. Leans in to Richard to shield the ball. And that's her ninth point of the game. As the score increases to 56-21. All contact there. And Drew Gillis will shoot too. Looks like they're going to start liberally substituting here with two minutes and change left in the second quarter with this game well on hand, 56 to 21. Gabe all the way across. McDonald. Hurley taking a look. Shot clock winding down. McCabe leans in. She's fouled and will shoot two. Dara McCabe missed the first. And better attempt on the second. Double dribble there by Avery Kerwin. Donald, high arcing jumper. Gets it back off the window. Abby McDonald. Yeah, I'm not sure what that whistle is for. Substitution. Oh, uh, Kerwin turned her ankle there, so Drew Gillis will check in. Plain runs into two defenders. Comes out of it with the ball. Fifteen on the shot clock here. McLean gets it back. Little contact there. Finally shot heaved up from the corner. That misses everything. And the Raiders will break back. Dara McLean. Hurley is blocked. And McLean comes back. Little up and under off the window. Nice move there by Paige McLean. So we are in the final minute of the third quarter with the score. Charlottetown Rural 59, Three Oaks 23. Nice cut there, Sinnott with the left hand. Ava Sinnott. Nice offense run there by the Raiders. Step back jumper, nice, and that's three 
for Paige McLean. Showing that outside range. And 3 0, pardon me, Charlottetown Rural will let you just let time expire there. As they lead 61 26 at the end of three. We'll step aside for a short break and be back with the fourth and final quarter. Stay with us. You're watching High School Sports on Eastlink Community TV. I started playing softball when I was four. As Hurley gets inside. As I mentioned, Charlottetown Rural undefeated this year. They've been undefeated the previous six seasons, looking for their seventh straight provincial title. The last time there was somebody not named Charlottetown Rural winning the girls' AAA title was Colonel Gray in 2014-15. So quite a run here from Charlottetown Rural. That jumper is short. McCabe tirelessly working on the offensive boards, gets it out. And Dara McCabe has it stripped by Paige McLean. McLean out top has that stripped by McCabe. And I'm pretty sure those two are sisters. So Dara up top for Hurley. McGagan with the crossover. Give it up, Hurley will shoot the three. And McGagan inside, and looked like Betts got a lot of that of the ball, but I'm gonna call a foul. And a reminder, after our girls' gold medal game, we'll have the boys' gold medal game between Charlottetown Rural and Three Oaks. Three Oaks looking for their third straight provincial title. And Charlottetown Rural looking for their first since 2018-19. Three Oaks working it down into the corner. Good D there by McGagan to strip Regan Betts, and then she gets tripped up from behind. Skids across the floor, and we'll get up. Non-shooting foul. That's three fouls on Betts, but she'll stay in. Leah Johnston, looks like she's a little limpy on the three Oaks bench. Hopefully she is okay. Sixty-five twenty-six. the score. There's the Raiders running that same play. McLean got there that time. Read it and blocked McGagan. Step back three off the mark. And Richard, good hustle. To track that down, always plays hard. Sarah Campbell, that shot misses. Loose ball still down there. And Richard leans into some contact, and that'll be a foul on Cassidy Hurley. Richard makes the second. McGagan sees a hole, gets through, gets her rebound, and good box out there by Paige McLean as we are two and a half minutes into the final quarter. Charlottetown Rural on top, 65-27. Lane is fouled as she drives to the basket. Girl foul number 11, Cassidy Hurley, her third. That'll be the team's 
Jump ball, and that will be three old ball. to inbound. Kerwin. She picks up the loose ball, trying to get inside. Loses the handle. And that's a shot clock violation, so that will be Raiders ball. No matter what the score, the Raiders always playing tough defense. Early back out. McGagan, there's that spin move inside, throws it up, she's fouled. And we'll shoot two. Gagan makes the second. Nice jumper there. Rebound came right to Stephanie Stewart. That pass may be intended for number 14, Morgan Reed. A little confusion here and substitutions for Charlottetown Rural. Oh, Dara McCabe has twisted a, an ankle there. She gets carried off by McGagan and one of the coaches. So hopefully she's Okay, wouldn't want to end your season with a twisted ankle, but it happens a lot when you're fighting for the balls. You come down on someone's foot, very common. Kerwin. Up and under. Oh, and good D there by Sidney Lawler as Kerwin tried the old Kevin McHale move from the 80s Boston Celtics. Shot clock is winding down. And Gillis just gets something off the buzzer. Ball is still loose, and Abby McDonald will finally get it to a teammate. Lydia Doyle inside. Good D there by Drew Gillis to get a hand on that. Doyle just able to keep that in. Lawler almost left without the pass. And Benito will fire the three off the mark. And that will be a shot clock violation as that three did not touch the rim. Shot must hit the rim for a reset. So Sidney Lawler, Abby McDonald, Katie Benito, Ava Sinek, Cassidy Hurley, and Dara McCabe are all playing their final game for Charlottetown Rural. And they have all not lost a game 
in regular season play and postseason play as they look to keep that record clean here in the gold medal game. Quite a run for this group. We had their uh, semifinal game last week and their head coach Peter Lawler said that they, I think five of the six have been playing since kindergarten and, and then the other six joined up in elementary school. So up through elementary school, mini ball to, to the Stone Park Tigers on to Charlottetown Rural and they will leave quite a legacy of banners in the rafters at the nest at Charlottetown Rural. It'll be interesting to see what they look like next year. Obviously losing a lot of firepower. And same with Three Oaks. They lose Alyssa Richard, Regan Betts, Sarah Campbell, Paige McLean, and Lee Johnston. So they'll have to start the rebuilding process. Five minutes left in the game as uh, the Shreds go off the window. 67-29 is your score. Doyle flashing through. Benito will just come and get it and try and knock down a, one more three there to add to her career. Kicked it back out. Sinnott steps into it, and that's high and down. Lawler, nice kick out there. Doyle looking to get on the scoreboard. And Lawler is just everywhere. The motor never stops for number four. Interesting to see where she ends up next year. Her older brother, pardon me, sister, Devin Lawler, plays with the UPEI Panthers. Finishing fifth at this year's national championship. And of course, they lost the reigning U Sport Player of the Year, Jenna Mae Ellsworth, I think just before Christmas, to a devastating knee injury. She hurt her knee, I think, two seasons ago. And uh, Panthers had sights on the national championship this year, but unfortunately, Jenna Mae's injury played a part in that as they got to the it was semifinals, I believe, and lost to UCB, but got in that wild bid to the Nationals, but tremendous program there. Up the hill at UPEI. Donovan, Richard has that blocked by McDonald. Nito bounce pass for McDonald, and she goes softly off the glass. Timeout called here. Timeout on the court. I think Three Oaks will sub out their seniors or just take a breather here. A reminder, uh, after we wrap this game, we'll be back for a live eye, so you will see medal presentations between Three Oaks and Charlottetown Rural. And uh, we'll be stay in house for the warm up between Three Oaks and the Raiders, and then, let's see, what time is it here? So 6.40, in five minutes, I would say 10 quarter after will probably tip between the Raiders and the Axemen for the 2022 Senior Boys Provincial Gold Medal. You can see more Tosh fans across the gym behind their team's bench. We drive down for Summerside and uh, yeah, so I guess winter's not over. It's <laughs> by yesterday's 24 centimeters. Nice day today. A lot of it melted and it felt like spring. And I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get rain this weekend, but uh, kind of the, the three stages of spring in the Maritimes. I've golfed in June in snow, so hopefully that doesn't happen this year. 324 left in the fourth quarter. Johnston baseline, bumped from behind. Benito under some heavy pressure there from Paige McLean. Doyle wide open. And that falls into Sarah Campbell's hands. McLean, Richard, she'll fire the three. And good, listen Richard was, she was knocking those down in warm up. She's also another deceivingly tall player. She walked by me and I'm 5'9", so she's easily 5'10", if not 5'11". She's got a couple inches on me, so tall young woman. Lawler always looking to attack. 
Gets to the rim a lot. Didn't finish that time. So we're in the final three minutes. McLean looking for a teammate. Johnston, who's played well tonight. Betts will fire the three. And speaking of tall players, Abby McDonald at 6-1. Steve races that shot and unselfishly gets it to Lydia Doyle for her first basket of the night. Nice teamwork there by the Raiders. see the subs coming in here so the seniors will all check out here for the Raiders and I wouldn't be surprised if there's maybe a tier or two pretty emotional moment for these players the last time you wear that high school uniform that uh, you've so proudly represented and I know a couple of these young women a little bit and outstanding <laughs> citizens nice bucket there from Doyle sometimes spend too much time talking about what the youth are doing wrong but there's a great number of youth doing all sorts of great things. And PEI High School Sports is an example of that. And a shout out to Phil Bridges with the PEI SA this week, last week. And here come the substitutions as the seniors come out for the last time for Charlottetown Rural. And Coach Peter Lawler, Nicole Davies and Lauren Reed. And mission accomplished for Charlottetown Rural. But uh, yeah, at the Sport PEI Awards, uh, the PEI School Athletic Association received the Premier's Award for Sport Organization of the Year. And, and that first year, 2020-21, I think PEI was the only uh, province that had its high school sports complete their seasons as the pandemic raged across the country. And tremendous work by the athletic directors and the volunteers and the coaches, principals and the athletes, and Phil Bridges and his staff. It's been a pleasure to work with over the last number of years and really deserving honor. Significant changes in high school sports since he took over that role. Maybe looking for one more basket as we're in the final minute. Holes camp is on the floor there. So we'll be Raiders ball on the sideline. McGagan with the crossover will just back it out. Maybe. Out for Reed. McCabe, little crossover. Gets to the window, up and under, a little too strong. And Three Oaks will look to add to their total as they trail 75 32. And that's also the last time we'll see Paige McLean in a Three Oaks uniform. Interesting to see where. She ends up next year, and thanks to Athletic Director Joel Arsenault at the Three Oaks, we made a couple of trips up this year. Always great cooperation from the staff there, and always look forward to going up to Summerside. Always treated first class. That one rims out, and McCabe with another rebound as we're in the Final 30 seconds, Rural will have to take a shot here or maybe they will just hold and let time expire. Let's see what they do. Reed, McKay continuing to run the offense here. McGagan is running through a couple of screens. Jumper on the way into Regan Betts hands. And the last shot will belong to Three Oaks and they'll just let time expire on the game and on the season. Charlottetown, oh, and it goes in at the buzzer for good measure. So the Charlottetown Rural Raiders are your 2022 champions of PEI Senior Girls High School Basketball, their seventh straight championship. Congratulations to head coach Peter Lawler, Nicole Davies, Lauren Reed, and the rest of the Raiders. And just a reminder, coming up next, it's the 2022 Senior AAA Boys Gold Medal Game between the Three Oaks Axemen and the Charlottetown Rural Raiders. We'll wrap our broadcast, come back with a live eye and get you set for the Raiders and the Axemen at approximately quarter after seven. So once again, your final score, Charlottetown Rural defeats Three Oaks 75 to 36. They are the 2022